I love how Ben was like, I have this brother who has this weird thing where he can't get turned on without an emotional connection. What you're describing is a woman. <laughs> it's a prison that I live in every single day. Um, <laughs> um, you guys, I'm going through this period of my life where I'm broke. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I know I don't look like it. Um, just hear me out. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, but I'm like learning a lot of new things about myself, right? Like, I'm learning that I'm a brunette. <laughs> I didn't know that when I could afford the hairdresser, so like, it's a gift. Um, yeah, I, uh, blondes have more fun, you guys, because I was having more fun when I wasn't broke. <laughs> so, it's true. Um, I did go to one of those, do you guys ever go to those places where like they teach people how to cut hair and it's less money? Or are you guys rich? I don't know. <laughs> yes, you've been, okay. Um, yeah, I was, <laughs> I went to one of those. I was like, well, I just hope that the haircuts they give in beauty school aren't like the films I made in film school. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to look at those, <laughs> including myself. Um, no, but it, it was fine. It, they uh, they gave me like this old fashioned blowout, you know, when they like, like the strain your hair. Like with this length of hair, I looked like if Lizzie McGuire was played by Hillary Clinton <laughs> <laughs> instead of Duff. <laughs> it's a good look. <laughs> She'd be really good at stand-up, I think, that person. Um, yeah, speaking of being broke, um, well, I, so I saw my family a couple weeks ago, um, and I, I went to this Mother's Day brunch, and it was like a picnic, um, and I was tasked with bringing cups, so I just, I just went to Starbucks and asked for 10 free cups. <laughs> <laughs> I put them down on the table, and my sister's like, Times are tough, aren't they? Yes, they are. Um, oh, I forgot to wear this thingy. It looks like a flash drive. Um, I'm definitely gonna wanna look at this set later, so I'm gonna put this on. Sorry, it's a mic, guys, okay. Um, that only, ne Never mind. we're gonna move on. Okay, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I was at McDonald's recently. Um, and uh, this homeless lady that was there, and she, I bought her a meal, and she was like, thank you, and I hope that you one day free yourself from the chains of female oppression. <laughs> I was like, thanks, you too. And she was like, I already have. <laughs> I was like, okay. Who knew all I had to do to free myself from the chains of female oppression was, like, live on the streets and do meth? Here I was, spending hundreds of dollars on pole dancing classes. I know, a lot of comics, a lot of L.A. comics, like, make jokes about homeless people, and it's, like, it's because the only person below a stand-up comic is homeless. <laughs> So it's all we have to talk about. It's punching down. Um, oh, yeah, I, so pole dancing. I have a pole in my house, and um, some people, when they come over, they're, like, kind of judgmental, you know? They're like, what's that for? I'm like, well, sexist of you to assume I'm a stripper and not a firefighter. Because it's a pole. When you have to explain your jokes, <laughs> it's never good. Uh, no, you guys are great. The energy in here, like, calm down, you guys. <laughs> this is a classy establishment. Like, your animals, jeez. Um, I uh, so dating in LA is pretty easy, <laughs> right? Um. <laughs> Yeah, do you guys all know the, the three traits that make someone a narcissist? Because I found out this is the kind of guy I'm attracted to. 
And it's like, you know, manipulation, lack of empathy, and living in Los Angeles. Those are the three traits. I'm like, that's my exact type. Oh no. Um, I'm kind of, I've realized, I, I, like, I have a lot of friends that are girls, and I grew up with women, so I'm, I, like, don't know a lot about men, like, how to get one, how to keep one. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of like the female version of the guy that's like, where are all the bitches at? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I have, I do have, I have a lot of friends in relationships, and, like, they try to set me up with their boyfriend's friends, and, like, that's when you find out what your friends really think of you. <laughs> Because, like, it's never the winner of the friend group, you know? It's the guy who's, like, sincerely saying where the bitch is at <laughs> on a regular basis. Um, I did have an embarrassment. So, like, I have a lot of, you know, I, I may not date, but I do have a lot of hookups. Okay? So, pretty cool. <laughs> I... <laughs> I uh, I hooked up, my most embarrassing hookup was like this guy from my hometown who I found out after the fact was a cop. Because <laughs> I always say fuck the police, so that's what I did. <laughs> um, but it did give me, that, that reminded me of, do you guys remember back in like January, there was a, um, the female cop in like Mississippi who, she slept with like six people from her station and she got fired. I'm like, she slept with six people and they didn't make her lieutenant? <laughs> what happened to sleeping your way to the top? Like three should be lieutenant, six should be captain. I told that, <laughs> I told that joke at a, um, at a show once and the, this guy came up to me and he's like, what happened to sleeping your way to the top? Um, equality, that's what happened. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you're so right. Thank you for explaining that to me, sir. <laughs> Guess someone forgot to tell Lana Del Rey. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, I, I, have, I have trouble falling asleep at night, and someone recently recommended to me a white noise playlist on Spotify. I'm like, white noise playlist? Isn't that just called the Lumineers Radio? <laughs> the same show, someone was like, um, or they, they didn't laugh at that, and I was like, I was like, what, you guys didn't laugh at that because you're all white? They were like, what? <laughs> Sick burn, <laughs> Lizzie McGuire. Okay, that's my time. Thank you, guys. <laughs>